What's up, Fearless Agent Live in the Fearless Agent Facebook group. Thank you for being here. I am super thankful for the opportunity to share these two things with you. If you're just joining us and you're watching this live, put an L in the comments. If you're one of my replayers in the Fearless Agent group or on the YouTube channel, put an R in the comments below to represent that you're the replayer. So here's what I want to talk about. 65% of your business must be focused on this part of your uh, of your activities throughout your day okay so if we look at our day if we look from the start to the finish what we're going to accomplish what we're going to create what we're going to do we must finish we must focus on these activities okay number one first and foremost above everything else is setting appointments and that's what we talked about over and over again in fearless agent set five go on three and sign one every single week at a higher commission rate. I want you to think about that for a second. If you're able to charge 1% higher on your commission rate, how big of a raise is that for you? It's not just 1%, it's 33%. Because if you're normally charging 6% and you increase it by 1%, to seven, that is 33% more. How would you like to do the same amount of business that you did in 2017, except for have a 33% increase in what you're paid? Put a yes in the comments if you're okay with that. Okay, so the majority of your day must be focused on that, and the other small section of your day, which is still part of this 65%, is on the marketing aspect. But here's so what's cool about marketing, is you do a little work, and you automate it, and it begins to work without you. It's the passive side of the business. Now, don't put all your buckets into marketing. Simply get the automated system working so that people remember you with what's called the law of recallability. See, it's when you have a prospect that you get from calling people, doing cold calling or making calls to your SOI or to past clients or your people farm or whatever, and you're having these conversations with people, well, they might not be ready right this second. How many of you have ever had that prospect? They're not ready today, but they are in six months from now, or they might be ready one day. You got it? We have these people in our, in our database. So this is where marketing comes into play. This is where the law of recallability comes into play. So what you gotta be able to do is create a marketing campaign to where you, your brand, you stay in front of them over and over and over again. So that when they think real estate, they think you. How would you like everyone that you've ever spoken to to recorrelate your name with real estate so that when it pops up, a friend, a family, a neighbor, an enemy, or even themselves is thinking of making a move, they call you. Okay, so here's what I recommend you do is spend the first three to four hours of your day on the phone, telephone prospecting, or what I like to call it proactively marketing, doing networking with active buyers and sellers and top people in the industry today that are in the market. Be on the phone finding those leads. Number one is you want to find people that will meet with you today that you can give a presentation to so you can get a contract signed. That's simple, right? And then you obviously want to have a fearless agent listing presentation so you charge more than the competition. The second part is what you want to be able to do is when you create those leads or those opportunities is continually be in front of them through postcards and emails and social media and pigeon courier smoke signals I don't care what you do stay in front of them over and over again with the same looking brand don't send one postcard that says hey here's a recipe to make a cake casserole and another one that says change your clock and another one that says oh here's how you can save and clean your your dishes better I don't I mean that doesn't make sense same this send the same boring postcard over and over again it is research proven it has gone through case studies that if you send the same brand, the same look, over and over, it will 10 times the results with the law of recallability and the ability for them to remember who you are. So let's just recap two parts. 65% of your day activities should be focused on proactive marketing, aka prospecting and setting appointments, and also through marketing, which is a passive approach, but you can automate it. Of that 65%, I would say that 90% 
of that should be focused just on telephone prospecting or face-to-face -face meetings. Being able to have conversations with decision makers or influencers that can either A, set a meeting with you or B, they can refer business to you. Okay, then 10% of that 65% is making sure that you have your postcards going out, your emails are set up to go, you've got your pigeon courier set to flight to make sure that people are remembering who you are with your brand. Thanks for being here, guys. We appreciate you being a part of the Fearless Agent Live. If you're not already a member of Fearless Agent Nation, go to fearlessagent.com. We have so many people joining right now, it's unbelievable. It's because this year, the motto is, is don't do 2018 alone. Go through 2018 with the coach, the mentor, the community, the group that's going to help you grow your business well beyond it was in 2017. How many of you had an amazing year in 2017? Put a yes in the comments. How many of you maybe had a good year, but not as great as you wanted? Maybe put a one in the comments if that's you. And how many of you would like to, no matter what you did in 2017, you definitely want to make sure 2018 is the best year yet? Well, I got great news for you. We're still Still in January of 2018, if you've had a great start, if you had a terrible start, we got a lot of time left this year. So get into action. Make sure you're prospecting every day. Get your marketing campaign into place. And most of all, if you're not already in Fearless Agent, go join. And if you are, remember to be on the Monday calls every single week. And call Bob with any questions. All right, guys. We'll see you later. So each and every day, you have one thing to really look at. And what's your schedule? Your issue typically is schedule management and life management. If you're not making more money, it's because your priorities are jacked up. So think about this. What outcomes do you want in your life? Well, we know you want to make more money. We know you want a happier family. We know you want more health and energy. We know that you want better.